Hey there, are you working on getting ready for the CISSP test? I have a very interesting point of view for you. I have been teaching CISSP for a long time. Most of my trainings were Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, and anywhere from 10 to 40 people in the room. I got to the point where I can predict there is a certain group of people that they are going to pass the test. And it got so bad that I would actually tell them on Monday morning in front of the whole class, you're gonna pass, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's so predictable that I actually would say that out loud to them. And that group of people is the chief information security officers. So that is the point of view. By the time you make it to the C-level executives and working inside of security, it is the point of view that they have is where the CISSP exam lives. It is what IEC squared intended. It is a manager level exam. It has a lot of content. If you've been studying, you've seen the CISP books from uh, the official study guide, the common body of knowledge, destination certification, all kinds of books are out there. Classes, they range five days, 12 hour days. There's a lot of content in there and it is necessary to be familiar with the content. The more you understand what Kerberos is versus SAML versus um, symmetric keys, asymmetric keys, what is ethernet, what is MPLS, what is software defined networking, all that stuff is essential but the point of view is critical on the test. So chief information security officers, kind of the core logic that I would say is they're looking from a people process technology perspective. If you hire the right people, give them the right processes, you will end up at the right technology. So when looking at questions, that's what you're looking for. First, you want people. No people in the answers, you want processes. If there's no processes, you want technology. It is essential that you approach the questions from that point of view. If you don't, you're gonna miss those manager level answers. The well-written questions in the test, I assert, have two good answers. One is a manager answer and one's a technology answer. And the more you understand the technology or the more your background is from the technology side, the harder it is to steer clear of those technology answers. They're just so tempting. Just answer, oh, what we want is to encrypt. What we want is the advanced encryption standard. What we want is when there's an answer right next to it that says hire the right people content. The more you understand what Kerberos is versus SAML versus symmetric keys, asymmetric keys, what is ethernet, what is MPLS, what is software defined networking, all that stuff is essential. But the point of view is critical on the test. So chief information security officers, kind of the core logic that I would say is they're looking from a people process technology perspective. If you hire the right people, give them the right processes, you will end up at the right technology. So when looking at questions, that's what you're looking for. First, you want people. No people in the answers, you want processes. If there's no processes, you want technology. It is essential that you approach the questions from that point of view. If you don't, you're gonna miss those manager level answers. The well-written questions in the test, I assert, have two good answers. One is a manager answer and one's a technology answer. And the more you understand the technology, or the more your background is from the technology side, the harder it is to steer clear of those technology answers. So looking through the answers, what you have to look for is people, process, technology. People first, process second, technology third. If it's there in that order, that's what you need to take. So one more time, people, process, technology. When you go into the test, you have the ability to write down things that give you a board to write on. Once you sign the non-disclosure agreement, write that at the top, people, process, technology. As technologists, we want to take that technology answer and you need to avoid it if the other answers are there. And it can be hard. So what I recommend you do is pay attention to your chief information security officer. Find how they think, listen to their emails, talk to them if you can. What we're looking for is the more manager level answers. Your answer could be good, right technology, today. But what's the right answer tomorrow? If you have the right people with the right processes, you're gonna end up with the right technology tomorrow and it's going to work the way that you need it to work. So not your answer, but your boss or your boss's boss all the way up to the CISO. And that is making assumptions about bosses and knowledge and all that kind of stuff. But in theory, they know what they're doing and they need to balance money and budget and time and energy and people and all these things against the needs of the business, what's actually gonna help the business grow and expand, what they've been tasked with building, all that stuff is necessary. So hire the right people, give them the right processes or let them build them if needed, and you will get to the right technology. 
So if you can do that, you're on the right track. All right, so there you go. There's your tip for today. Think like the chief information security officer. Pay attention to what they're doing, not the technology. Know the know the bits and pieces. You, you need that in order to read through questions, understand them. And there are going to be technology-based answers in this test. But you have to find those management answers when they're there. All right. If you found this helpful, click on subscribe, click on like. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.